Welcome back, my crazy frogs. In this one, we're making super slim silicone BMX grips. So stay tuned and let me know what you think in the comments. Let's get some grips done. All right. Well, I didn't explain very good in the video as I was going. So let's do a little voiceover. So here I am applying some Vaseline as a as a mold release agent. I'm just going in there trying to put a thin coat, realized it wasn't fast enough with the Q-tip. So I just shoved a big load in there. Oh God. This is shaft lubing time. All right, that's enough of this. So here we put the mold together just like a Lego. And they are made in three pieces. That was my first model, it's not good enough yet. We're gonna be improving on this mold in a future video after testing these first version of the grips. So I put tape around it in hopes to seal it up better because I knew it wasn't it wasn't going to seal properly. Um, keep watching to know how much it leaked or if it did leak. Now it's time to mix the silicone. This is a two part silicone. It is made to it is made for silicone molding, but it said super strong silicone. So I just assumed it was gonna be good enough for what we're trying to do with it. Well, when you make a mess, you gotta clean it up right. Now, I measured these on a guess for the first run, which ended up not being enough for our full pour. So I had to also make a quick mix in between I do not suggest using the bottom of a water bottle for mixing any kind of resin or two-part silicone or anything like that. Um, you have to make sure it mixes very well together, evenly. So we're going to be stirring this for a little bit. Make sure to scrape up all the sides and get all those two parts mixed up together well. And now it's going to be time to fill up that mold. Very poor focus on the camera, so uh, we're going to speed that up a little bit. Nice top up on that mold. Our grip's all poured in. So we're gonna let that mold sit 
for about five hours. We have the mix jar right here. So we're just gonna keep looking back at this to know when it's ready to handle. So I'll be back to this in a couple hours, a couple seconds for you guys, and uh, we'll get demolding on this and see if it's actually a BMX grip. Alright, so I may or may not have forgot about this, and it is now 24 hours later. So I'd say it's pretty ready to unmold. So, uh, let's unmold this and see what we got. Now we rip off all the silicone that leaked out. And we are gonna cut out the tape that we tried to seal it up with. Now this mold, I was hoping it would be usable for multiple runs, but um, you're going to see here pretty soon, the bottom did not make the cut. And there we go, we broke it. Not too stressed out. This is the first version of the mold. So next time we make one, we're gonna make it a four piece or a five piece instead of a four piece. Now let's open it up. Do we have a grip or do we have garbage? Let's see. We have nothing. Just kidding. Here is a very slimy grip. Well, that's not very good. Let's get her out of there. So yeah, I mean it looks like a grip, feels like a grip, but it is very sticky. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning on this and then we'll check out the final result all right well after taking some time and plucking off all the little bits that exceeded this is what we have it's a simple grip has two neck things and uh, I just left the pore sprue excess on there just because it looks kind of like a bar end and uh, it is very thin so I don't know how good it'll last but um, for the final test Try to slip it on some BMX bars. See if it works as intended. This thing fits as tight as a condom. <laughs> uh, I think it'll work fine, surprisingly though. So uh, now what I'm gonna do is make another one of this and then in the next video that we're going to be talking about grips we're going to be testing this out on a scooter or a bmx and uh yeah if you want to see the test of this grip hit that subscribe button so you see when that video comes out and uh if you like this video hit that thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time Thank <laughs> you.